Long-term test review, Renault Katjar. Final report, practical Renault Katjar crossover has started in 10 months use. Verdict. 4 star. I've given the Katjar a tough test, covering nearly double the average annual mileage in less than a year. The Renault has stood up to it well, impressing with its practicality for my photography gear and comfort on long trips. Only a few minor points have taken the shine off things. Mileage, 22,565. MPG, 52.1 MPG. When I climbed into my Renault Cat Jar at the start of the year, it had just been crowned Auto Express's favorite crossover. And although it's since been beaten by the Seat Ateca in our new car awards, as I wave goodbye after 22,000 plus miles, I'm impressed with how the Renault's delivered. Makers have taken to marketing crossovers at lifestyle types, and while the car's TV ad features obsiling adrenaline junkies, the reality is models such as this need to cater for families. That's something the Renault has done perfectly over my time with it. Whether it's putting my bike in the back, ferrying the kids and scooters, swallowing DIY kit or carrying the dog, the cat jar's flexibility knows virtually no bounds. With the fitment of the optional roof bars, allowing a box to boost load space, we could load up easily and cart all our equipment to Devon for a family holiday. Forget the marketing people's idea of snowboarding or downhill mountain biking, the cat jar is everything a family SUV should be delivering the practicality of a five-seat MPV in a more stylish package. It's also averaged an impressive 52.1 MPG in my hands and I'm hardly an economical driver. In fact, one frustration is with the echo coaching feature. Try as I might, I haven't yet got my echo score over 53 slash 100 yet when a colleague recently went for a short drive, they managed to up this by a few points. Still, the tips the software gives are relatively useful and have helped me improve the rating over time. Imagine how efficient the car would be with an echo score in the 70s or even 80s. This might be my fault, but other cat jar downsides definitely aren't. The R-Link 2 infotainment setup's home button takes you to a screen that shows a split view of the SAT NAV and radio station, great if you want to view either of these, yet it means you must press yet another button to get back to the main menu. It's indicative of the whole frustrating setup, there always seems to be one too many button presses involved. The 7-inch touchscreen and clear graphics mean the multimedia system works well once you're used to it, but such small, yet annoying, issues really count especially when the sector is packed with talented rivals such as the Ateca, plus the Kia Sportage and Nissan Qashqai. Special mention should go to the driving experience, though. While newer models like the Ateca deliver more involving handling, the Renault supple ride and low noise levels made it a brilliant companion on typical, everyday journeys when the traffic was heavy or you just want to cruise. Renault Cat Jar, Third Report Mileage, 19,012 MPG, 52.4 MPG The Renault Cat Jar has notched up plenty of victories in Auto Express road tests, seeing off many of its major rivals in the process. But earlier this year, Renault and the Cat Jar edged themselves ahead of the competition when it comes to ownership. In the Auto Express Driver Power Survey, the Cat Jar was voted the best SUV to live with by our readers, while the French brand's network of garages topped our 2016 car dealer rankings. So with my Cat Jar now having covered 18,906 miles and do its first service, we headed to Glen Hopkin Renault in Chelmsford, Essex, for its first round of routine maintenance so I could experience firsthand what puts Renault's dealers top of the pile. The first impressive thing is that the Cat Jar's 18,000 mile service intervals are relatively long, so despite being in the car almost every day covering lots of miles, I've not had to book it in before now. Rivals like the Honda CRV need servicing every 12,500 miles, for example, 
So after every two trips to the dealer for the cat jar, the Honda would be due its third. It's not this alone that makes the cat jar a great family SUV, though. For many of the features you want in a crossover things like ride quality, comfort, and in-car tech the cat jar finished in the driver power top 10. Consistent results across the board in our survey for running costs, build quality, and practicality saw the Renault outscore its rivals, too. That's exactly what I've experienced over my time with the car so far. Apart from having to top up the oil slightly, it's been totally trouble-free and when I did visit the dealer, I was impressed with the service. As part of the work what Renault calls the A and B service there's a routine oil and filter change, while a whole host of checks is performed on the brakes, safety kit and other mechanical components to ensure the cat jar stays in fine fettle. You can see the results of your car's health test, as you're given a color-coded check sheet detailing the work afterwards for peace of mind. Our cat jar passed with flying colors, and although a bill of £234.60 for parts and labor isn't the cheapest, it was a fair enough price. However, opt for Renault's £299 three-year service plan up front, and you'll get even more value for money. The brand notched up second place in the dealer survey for value, as well as for technical knowledge and standard of workmanship, while it took first place for helpfulness and attitude. I can see why, as the service advisor at the Chelmsford branch, Jasmine Clark, was helpful, efficient and easy to deal with. Renault is rightly proud of its driver power achievements, too, and was showing off the award inside the dealership, with a huge banner celebrating the cat jar's success. Work on the Renault was conducted while I waited in the newly decked out showroom, and with complimentary drinks and Wi-Fi, I could catch up with some emails. Such small touches might not sound like deal breakers, but when some premium manufacturers struggle to offer a satisfactory service, it seems Renault has really thought hard about how it treats its customers. Once you've bought a car, some brands leave you to your own devices, but I found the Renault staff keen to keep me informed of what was going on which fits exactly with what our readers told us in driver power. Renault Cat Jar, Second Report Mileage, 12,791 Economy, 53.3 mpg It's midsummer, yet we've decided to fit all-weather tires to our Renault Cat Jar. Why, you may ask. Well, tire maker Michelin invited us to try a set of its new cross-climate rubber, and with the cat jar having racked up over 12,000 miles in six months under my stewardship, it made perfect sense for them to be fitted to the Renault for a prolonged test. So we headed to Michelin's UK Technical Centre in Stoke-on-Trent, Staffordshire, where the new set of tires was fitted by technical manager Jamie Quir. These cross-climate tires fill a gap between standard rubber and a full winter tire. They feature multiple grooves like a winter tire, but the rubber compound isn't as soft, so they don't wear as quickly if you're using them in warm weather. It's a compromise for drivers who can't afford to swap between winter and summer tires each season, and I've found them to be pretty good so far. I've noticed that there's a softer edge to the cat jar's ride as a result of fitting the cross-climate tires, but they don't have that spongy feel that you get with conventional winter tires. The handling has been softened off, and you notice more movement from the car in corners, but then I've found that's not really what the cat jar is about, and the tires have helped it deliver even better comfort and refinement. However, there hasn't been any really warm weather to test the limits of the cross-climate's ability, and the extra grooves have boosted grip in what has turned out to be a soaking summer so far. Michelin offers cross-climate tires in a variety of sizes, and a set of four for the cat jar on our car's emissions-friendly 17-inch wheels costs £444. They're well worth investing in if you want an all-weather tire that delivers a good mix of warm weather grip and cold weather security. Another addition we've made to the cat jar is a set of roof bars. Renault's official accessory set cost £165, and they're a piece of cake to install on the standard roof rails. 
They're lockable, and they've come in pretty handy, as I used them to fit a roof box to the car for a recent camping holiday. It meant my wife, two daughters, and dog could all go away and we still had plenty of space to relax on the journey there and back. As it turns out, the holiday was a bit of a washout, but at least we could stuff all of our wet items back in the roof box, rather than getting the cabin dirty. One issue with the roof bars is the extra wind noise they generate at motorway speed so much so that it becomes hard to hold a conversation although at least they don't whistle, like the set I fitted to a Kia Sportage a few years ago. What's surprising is that fuel economy hasn't been affected by the roof bars. Maybe it's because the bars are oval shaped and the end caps are rounded to help air flow over the car, but we're returning 53.3 mpg now the 1.5 DCI diesel has loosened up. This is around 5 mpg better than we were managing before our first report, and is pretty impressive for such a large car. When I'm driving the cat jar for work, the diesel engine is powerful enough for my needs, but I have found that the 1.5 DCI feels a bit sluggish with a full complement of passengers on board. Still, the payoff is that the cat jar is very comfortable, and the new tires have only made the car more relaxing to drive than ever. Renault Cat Jar, First Report How will the new Renault Cat Jar crossover fare as it joins our fleet? Mileage, 4867 Economy, 47.3 mpg You only have to step out on your local high street to see how successful the crossover class has become. Cars like the Nissan Qashqai have been at the forefront of the sales boom, so it was only a matter of time before manufacturing partner Renault also joined the party. It launched the cat jar earlier this year, and now we've got the keys to our fleet example, we're going to see how it measures up over the next 12 months. I picked up our car from the firm's flagship showroom, Renault London West, where salesman George Walker conducted the handover. Our car is a mid-spec Dynamic SNAV, and the first thing that strikes you is the 625 pounds flame red paint. I'm glad it's such a distinctive color, as that means it'll look great when I'm snapping it. The rounded nose and tail mean the cat jar doesn't bear too much resemblance to its Nissan Cash K cousin, while LED daytime running lights add a distinctive signature to the nose. Smooth curves around the door panels stop it looking too square and boxy as well. Aside from the paint, the only other option our car has is 17-inch Athena alloys. Dynamic S models get 19-inch Apollo wheels as standard, but the smaller rims are a no-cost option that help to reduce CO2 emissions from 103G-KM to 99G-KM. While I must admit that I prefer the look of the bigger wheels, colleagues who have driven the cat jar on both sizes say that cruising comfort is a lot better on our car. At the dealer, George talked me through Renault's R-Link infotainment system. As I do a lot of motorway miles, it's essential that I can stay in contact, and linking my phone to the R-Link setup was a breeze. Not only does it handle calls, but you can get the system to read out text messages, too, and the standard TomTom -tom navigation features live traffic alerts. These have been a godsend, and have helped me avoid nasty hold UPS on more than one occasion. As you would expect, the Dynamic S is loaded with kit, including plenty of safety features. Lane departure is one particular highlight, although the system is a bit sensitive to white lines at the side of the road. On occasion, I've had the setup warn me that I'm straying from my lane via a busy rumble through the speakers when I've just been keeping left of the road to avoid oncoming traffic. Aside from that niggle, the cat jar has been impressive. There's plenty of passenger space for my wife and kids, while the boot is big enough for my camera gear, or our dog. We've rated the accessories list and added an all-in-one liner for £125, so the boot itself remains clean while the protective sheet takes all the punishment. It features zip-up edges, so you can still use the 60-40 split rear seats, which are easily folded thanks to the levers in the boot sides. We've gone for the 109 BHP 1.5 DCI diesel, and I must admit, I've been pretty impressed with its performance. Considering its size, it feels reasonably punchy, 
although you do have to push it hard through the lower gears to make decent progress. Once you're up to speed, it's quiet, refined and tractable, and with those 17-inch wheels, makes the Cat Jar a great motorway cruiser. Even better is the fact we've managed to return 47.3 mpg since it first arrived on fleet. Key Specs Model, Renault Cat Jar DCI 110 Dynamic SNAV On fleet since, January 2016 Price new, 23,295 pounds Engine, 1.5 liter 4 CYL diesel, 109 bhp C02 slash tax, 99G slash KM slash 20%. Options, flame red metallic paint, 625 pounds, 17 inch alloy wheels, no cost option, boot liner, 125 pounds. Insurance asterisk, group, 14 quote, 521 pounds. Mileage slash MPG, 22,565-52.1 mpg. Any problems? None.